Thank you so much, the Firebird Society of Entrepreneurs, for awarding this to you. I must say that the work that your company is doing for promoting leadership and management skills is exemplary and absolutely praiseworthy. Now, talking about this beauty, this means a lot. Thank you to each and every one. There are actually a lot of people who are instrumental in getting this to you. And the most important person is my younger brother. Saurabh Bhattar. Many people here in the audience also know about Saurabh. Now many don't know that this entrepreneur standing in front of you at one particular point of time was on the verge of depression. So I used to check Google for looking at symptoms and solutions on how I can get over this particular situation that I was facing. At that particular point of time, the only person who stood by me was my younger brother. He nurtured me like an elder brother would do, cared for me like a parent would do, and motivated me, and got me back to the normal, regular, self-motivated person that I am. And today I will just talk about one thing, one thing which separates people from becoming an entrepreneur, from living their own dreams, from becoming immensely successful in life, and that one thing, ladies and gentlemen, is belief. Belief is what separates great men from mediocrity. Belief is what separates winning and losing. And belief is the only thing which might get you going in times of distress and difficulty. Now there are a lot of students and people who wish to pursue entrepreneurship who come up to me and say, so how do we find our belief? How do we convince our parents that what we are doing is actually right? How do we convince our parents that this is something which would turn out to be the golden goose for us? The only thing that I tell to them at that particular point of time is that if you have belief in your dreams, your parents, your relatives, your friends, everyone will believe you because they will see that belief in your eyes that you are capable of achieving it. Now I know that this is very easy to say this but very difficult to implement. There are a lot of people here who actually don't know what their belief is. I have an exercise for each one. Ask yourself three questions. First, ask yourself what work will you do that will not appear to be work to you? I repeat, what work do you do that does not appear as work to you? Second, when you look back at your life, think about what your greatest accomplishments have been throughout your life. Maybe you won a marathon, maybe you mentored someone, maybe you won a debate competition. Think as to what has been your greatest accomplishment till today. And the third question, ladies and gentlemen, that you wish to ask yourself is that even if you have limitless money and limitless time, then what will you do today? If you have all the riches and all the time, then what will be the one thing that you will be doing today? And trust me, the answer to all these three questions will be one, in most of the cases. And that is how you find your belief and your passion for what needs to be pursued for the rest of your life. There might be a situation that you might take two years, three years, four years, five years, maybe even longer to find your belief. But it is your belief that will keep things going for you and make you within life. I understand that a lot of people give up and it is fine, giving up is okay because it is actually very important. Just 4% of the people who actually go onto this path survive because time catches up on you, age catches up on you, technology catches up on you. There are so many things, almost everything is against you. So it is very difficult to find your passion, pursue it for the rest of your life. And that is why it is very important to do what your heart says. Because, just like you narrated your story over here, the reason why people are not able to continue is the fact that you are not earning money at that particular point of time and you are also not enjoying what you are doing at that particular point of time. So, if you are doing things out of fear and not out of love, you will not be enjoying what you are doing and you will also not be making money out of it. And that is the reason why so many people actually fail. A lot of people come up to me and say, sir, why, do, why does entrepreneurship fail? Why is in our country the ecosystem is not good? We are always looking at the negative aspects. What we fail to understand is that the problem is within. And the problem is because we have not identified what we actually need to do. What we see is, we see the bunsers doing relatively well with Flipkart. 
we see Ritesh Agarwal doing very well with OEO and we tend to copy those models and that is where we use. If you are going to copy what someone else has done, trust me, you are never going to succeed. And that is the problem. Till the time you do not produce something original, the problem will exist. So whenever you are making any business model, just keep three things in your mind. One, is your business model profitable? Will you actually make money out of it? Second, is your business model actually feasible? Now if you are planning to set up houses in Mars, that is actually not going to happen. And the third thing is whether your business is scalable. Which means, can your business run in a similar manner in Delhi, in Mumbai, in Pune, in Goa, in every part of the country and even beyond? If your business has got all these three things, put your heart into it, put your soul into it, and put your passion into it. And one day, trust me, all such trophies will be yours. Find your belief, follow your belief, follow your passion, and success shall be yours.